Hi, Kukas. Happy Wednesday. Today's Kukas. Wednesday. Kukas. I gotta stop calling people nicknames. Of, Why? Well, because I call people nicknames Kuka and Coochie. I texted him and he was asking to hang out and I was like, okay, Coochie. And he was like, that was crazy. <laughs> Jaden and I are going to a little brand event right now. Yeah. We're only gonna stay for like 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go watch Poor Things at our friend Morgan's house. Morgan and I have had plans to watch Poor Things for weeks now, and so we're finally doing it. And I'm stoked. I love movie night. Okay, we'll go now. This is what I'm wearing. I actually, I've worn this outfit before, so. That's it. Well, no shoes. Maybe I'll show you it at another point. But wait, I just got these that I'm really stoked about from Etsy. That's the more exciting part. The little ear pin and ear cuffs. Same jewelry. Eh? Wear a lot. We just got to the event. Mm -hmm. I'm a little scared to go in because there's like nobody in there. She's scared. I'll maybe take some videos of us in there. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Parking space right at the end of the song. I know. Charmed. Hot. Lucky girls we are. <laughs> we make up things a different story. Every person we meet. I don't know when I fell. What? She doesn't, doesn't know as well. Oh Wait, God, that is actually destroyed. So we brought cozies for the movie night. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Oh, nice cookie. Good. Holy shit. Holy shit. Good. 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 Guys, big news, huge news, huge news. Huge news. We found a place to live. Woo, woo. We've been homeless for a month, maybe. Long story short, we moved out of our other place before we found a new place. And our upstairs neighbors were out of town for a month, so we've been here. And they come back right when we're supposed to move they in. They come back this literally place. like the day, the day, the, the earliest day we can move in. Yes. But now we're getting super excited and like we can finally home shop because we've been looking for places and then every time we'd get excited about something, yeah. we would start looking and then not get it. Yeah. So if you've seen Poor Things, Jaden and I literally want our home to look like Poor, poor Things. <laughs> silverware was something that was always so hard for me, finding cool silverware. And that's one of those things like when you move in a place that you just need immediately so you end up buying things you don't like. So we're gonna get ahead of that so we don't buy ugly things. How cool is that gonna be? With all of our little homemade stuff. Oh, those are some cool boots too, but anyway. I also found some stuff on Facebook Marketplace that I already messaged people about, so hopefully I'll be able to pick that stuff up soon. Like, oh my God. Are we seeing the vision? Because I... I'm gonna do some more home shopping and then I'll come back because I also have the date tonight that I'm planning and that'll be fun. We're about to go pick up Girly Pop for the date. I'm doing a little picnic date. We got her some flowers. I never like the plastic wrapping. So I always take it off. And something that she has taught me is she has never once texted me here she always comes to my door and knocks on my door. And I think that's just like romantic and chivalrous and I love it. So I'm gonna bring these to her door and then we're gonna go. I love a good like wildflower set, aren't they pretty? I'm gonna do a little dairy-free charcuterie board. These are the best tortillas ever, specifically with like a goat cheese. Oh my God. I really like these for gluten-free crackers and I just wanted like a neutral cracker because I got a brie cheese, vegan cheese that we're gonna eat with the orange tortilla things. And, oh, I got a little chia pudding, because we both love chia pudding. 
and some berries to eat or go on top of it. I got salami. I got, oh, and then I got an herbs cheese. This was $20. I convinced myself it was gonna be good. Two waters. A little CBD drink. She likes these. And then two juices. Oh, I have this buttoned, but the outfit's way cuter when the bra is shown, so. That's what I'm actually wearing with like a long little skirt and I feel romantic. I have two activities for possibilities after depending on how she feels. So we're gonna sunset picnic and then the two options are one, this like underground 80s punk dance party thing. Um, and that sounds really fun if we're in the mood for dancing, but we're both a little tired. Or this really cool experimental jazz show that's going on. Something cool and music related, just depending if we want to sit or if we want to dance. Either way, I think it'll be fun. It's very empty right now, so it's very echoey, but I'm really happy to finally have home. We're gonna get to work on filling it up. Here's what I've done so far. Also, we moved in like two days ago. Yesterday was an insane day for me. I had a toe infection. I had to go get cut out of my foot. It was a weird day. So today feels more like the official moving day. I built this metal bed frame because I bought a wooden bed frame on Facebook Marketplace that came with that. Facebook Marketplace means you don't really know how you're getting things. And the previous owner definitely had a cat that scratched this up pretty bad. So I got some little wood repair supplies and I'm just gonna go around and do that. I got this for 50 bucks. I paid 40 for delivery, but $90 for this beautiful old bed frame plus a little repair, pretty good. I love it. This is literally exactly what I was envisioning for this room, so I'm stoked about it. Um, my duvet cover is coming today. I got, I really like the sheets I got. They're like exactly my vision. I got these eucalyptus white striped sheets. I think the texture mix of like a silky sheet with the linen duvet is gonna look so good. I'm so excited to have this nice closet. Before I start unpacking, I'm gonna organize what I did put in here. I have no idea how I'm gonna organize it because there's nowhere like long to put stuff, so. That feels kind of silly. Okay, starting with everything on hangers. So I think I want a bed skirt because I don't love how that looks. I'm looking through some right now and I just thought I would show you guys. I would think like interior design would be just as easy as an outfit, but there's so many more moving pieces that I never know where to start. I'm tempted to do a sort of like yellowy gold, but then I don't know if that's gonna make the floors look yellowy. But then I see bed skirts like this, 
That I think could be so cool. You get the vibe, right? You could also do something white and linen-y and keep it like super clean on the bed, which I also love the idea of, but I know I want color. So, I don't know why, but Poor Things is so stuck in my brain and there was a bunch of yellow fabrics in their interiors. And so now I'm kind of like stuck on this idea of a yellow velvet bed skirt, even though I can't find one. And this is when I need to learn how to sew because I want to make my own bed spread too. Um, and I think I can do that if I just buy a piece of fabric and like could hem it up nicely. So I want to do that this week, like go downtown to fabric stores because I can't find what I want. So I'm just going to make it. And you just learn how to do things through doing them. So imagine like that one was a mustardy yellow velvet. I'm having a lot of thoughts about yellow and blue together. I think that would be cool because now I'm, I don't know where to start because I have curtains to get, bedspread, rug, artwork. So I'm having a hard time on the color scheme of where to begin and then where to match things to. So I think I just have to find one thing that I really like, whether that's like rug, bedspread, or curtains, and then just keep going from there. I just got back from the thrift store. I don't know why I didn't take you guys because I found a lot of cool stuff. I thought it was just gonna be one of those like, look around for fun. But I'm, I'm winded because I just brought my whole ass dresser up. I really like my dresser. I just hiked this whole thing up two flights of stairs because I needed it right now, apparently. This is like exactly the vibe I'm going for. I don't know. And it was $99. It was originally like $2.50 and it was on sale for $99. I got this too. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Maybe it's going to go on the balcony. Maybe it's going to be a little footstool at the entryway. Or stool on the entryway so you can put your shoes on. But right now it's going to go in front of my bed because that looks adorable. Oh, it literally fits perfectly. I also found this, which is so cool. It was 20 bucks. This is why I love thrifting. Like, it's just so satisfying. I will never buy anything new. Sorry. I also stopped at Goodwill and got this. How cute. Matches the vibe. And then I got this when I stopped at the Goodwill the other day. Oh, it's not. Entire first floor is flooded. Madison just came back. Theo just bit me for the first time in his life. And now we're gonna open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. No, literally, it was giving you guys don't understand. There's oh <laughs> He's such a chill cat though, like he doesn't care about things. Like No, I know. Yeah. So me and my girlfriend were out. <laughs> I had a fun little game night. People were doing PowerPoints about their gayness. It was a great time. And then I get a call from Jaden that our entire apartment flooded and that her cat bit her for the first time in the whole world. So I'm Paula Santoing the apartment now and there is sewage on the ground. The toilet is attacking us. I don't know what's going on, you guys but this is my only defense. Last night was a shit show. I don't even know how much I explained, but it was a quite literal shit show, meaning shit from the sewage was pouring onto our floors all night. And we had an emergency plumber come. We didn't go to sleep until like four. And then I wake up at eight every day now, apparently. But I did get a croissant French toast. So things are looking good. At least a little. Oh, I also got my period yesterday. So I have second day period right now. When I order breakfast for myself, I've had this like kind of tradition for a long time where I'll eat pretty healthy throughout the week. And then always on a Saturday, I order myself two breakfasts, like a sweet and a savory. And I just brought and enjoy it. Croissant, French toast, omelet. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Sex in the City and enjoy this time. Mm. 
This is curing everything. No utensil. Oh, my. This is important to me. I know it's important to you. You know it's important to you. The homeless guy in the corner of 57th and 7th knows it's important to you.